Welcome to Bible Verse Daily. May God bless us as we listen to today's reading, gospel, and the words of the Holy Father, and may the Holy Spirit guide us in our reflections. Let us begin. May 8, 2023, Monday of the fifth week of Easter. Reading of the Day A reading from the Book of the Acts of the Apostles, Acts 14, 5, 18. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lycaonian cities of Lystra and Derbe and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowds saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lycaonian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he together with the people intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you human beings. We proclaim to you good news that you should turn from these idols to the living God who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. Gospel of the Day From the Gospel according to John John 14, 21, 26 Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord Words of the Holy Father In what does the Holy Spirit's mission, which Jesus promises as a gift, consist? He describes it himself. He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Throughout his earthly life, Jesus already passed on all that he wanted to entrust to the apostles. He fulfilled divine revelation, namely, all that the Father wanted to impart to mankind with the incarnation of the Son. The Holy Spirit's task is to recall, that is, to enable full understanding and to induce us to concretely implement Jesus' teachings. And this is also precisely the mission of the Church, which she accomplishes through a precise way of life, characterized by a few requirements. Faith in the Lord and observance of His Word. Docility to the action of the Holy Spirit, who constantly renders the risen Lord alive and present. Acceptance of His peace and the witness borne to it through an attitude of openness and of encounter with the other. Thank you for listening to today's reading, gospel, and the words of the Holy Father. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace.